Hello there. Once again, this is Anton from Anton Bay, and thank you guys for stopping by the collection room for a bit. Today I'm taking a look at some DC Comics. I don't look at DC Comics very much. I'm not a big DC guy. Um, I do I do enjoy Supergirl in, in, in certain doses and a lot of situations. So <clears throat> um, today I'm looking at, turns out I have a few issues of Supergirl left over. So I've got issues one through five here and I don't I don't know if I've ever read these ones. Um, let's see what the year is here. 1996. You can see this has got a pretty good crease on it. Uh, wow, it's blood going down a drain. That's kind of disgusting. For an opening page. Oh, that's that's rough all the way around. Ugh. Well, that's interesting. Not sure what I expected, but that, that wasn't the start I was looking to expect. So, as I've said, I have not read much Supergirl. Um, sadly, I, I, I've watched the old movie, which I didn't really like. It was pretty bad. I enjoy this, the at least the first couple seasons that I've seen of... Um, bop, bop, bop. The one on the on TV starts Melissa Benoist. Uh, I, I enjoyed that one. Uh, the, at least the first couple. I haven't seen all of them. I've heard that they get worse as it progresses on. Um, and I've run into her in a lot of other comics. But as far as like just sitting down and reading Supergirl books, not so much. I think she has a great look. Uh, I think she has a great backstory. Um, I know it's basically the same as Superman's, but. The fact that she was already here, or he had already been raised, and she was late. Basically, her whole mission in life was kind of botched before she started. I, I always thought that was cool. But... Supergirl, body and soul. I don't really know... This isn't New 52. This is pre that. So I'm not sure exactly... What's going on with DC? I, this is why I don't read DC. I have a terrible time. Um, well, I will read some DC, but as long as it's it's usually more obscure titles or stuff that's self-contained that doesn't really interfere with your entire modern universe because uh, it gets pretty complicated. <clears throat> I just, I never know where I'm at or how to get involved with it. So that said, I don't know in relative when any of this is going on. I'm just taking a look at it. I know they've been in my collection for a while. They just haven't really haven't really given them the time. Of course I'm loving the art, but I would expect that from especially mid 90s DC. I would expect the art to be about as good as it's going to get. Um, the quality of the book feels top notch, of course. Um, slick pages, all that good stuff. But yeah, it's like I said, when you open up a DC comic and you're not familiar with the universe, I'm like, well, I know this is Supergirl. Which Supergirl? You know, like, what what timeline are we talking about? What's what's going on here? I never know, and that makes it much harder to to really get invested in. I have picked these up when I see them, and, you know, I've seen a lot of them. I have a lot of her figures. I, I, I appreciate those. I don't know. It's it's kind of underwhelming, actually. I was expecting a little bit more flashy... Uh, Maybe panels and art. I mean, I, not that the art is bad by any means, but you got a really dynamic looking character. Let's use that to look dynamic, you know. Okay, so you get like panels like this. That's what I'm looking for, just, you know, interesting. Utilize that cape. Gorilla Grodd. Um, I wonder if this is where she goes evil. 
I did have an old uh, Supergirl figure where she was evil. She like kind of looks like a vampire. I don't know what the deal was with that. I don't read any. I don't even read enough DC to know, but it's cool. Um, this gorilla hanging out in front of a stained glass window is interesting. Looks like a disease going around where everybody's turning into like angry gorilla type creatures. That was weird. He uh dropped something. Good shot. I always say shot like it's actually a camera, but I know it's just a drawing panel. Yeah, she definitely looks, looks like she's turning, but I'm, like I said, I'm not really sure what's going on here. Um, that's not a normal outfit for Supergirl, but I like it. Museum piece with an attitude. No. Yeah, a little underwhelming, I guess. No, don't get me wrong, the art is good, but what is what is it that I'm missing here? There's some sort of pop that I'm I'm looking for that I'm not seeing. And I'm not sure what that is. I just know sometimes you open a comic book and wowza. Well are ya? like a TV or no not maybe not TV one of those uh, big tent revival healing guys <clears throat> I love th this is something you can only get in Superman comics or Supergirl comics or this flying away pose like that I, I, I do love that gotta love that but I don't know you know what I'm saying there's some something amazing and dynamic that I'm not quite picking up in this maybe it's lost in just the fact that I'm not a big DC guy. Um, they have amazing covers. The art is good. But there's some there's some magic moment here. Actually, that might be it right there. Just massive oddness. Oddness is what I'm looking for, maybe. This all just seems too mundane and too normal. Oh, hell. Yep, she's stuck in a goo. Totally, totally stuck in it. What more can you say than that? Read on air. Are you alive? I guess everybody's just gonna be stuck in this gooey guy. And now he's a tornado head. Can't say no to that. All right, I'd, I'd say this de definitely. This last issue picked up the. Uh, the wow's a factor that I was looking for. Just the sense of oddness. Um, you got a you got a character here who can fly, do all these things, and has this dynamic look to him. Your book should really pop. And some of these didn't really pop. Some of them really did. Um, I am a Supergirl fan. I'm going to say that I am. Uh, having not read a ton of the comics, but mostly just seen her in cartoons, seen her in movies, seen her in TV shows, and appreciating her there. But... Eh, this particular run of comics isn't really like, uh, isn't really like, I don't know, wowing me, I guess. The covers look good, definitely. But there is, there is something here that's lacking, and I think it's just uh, a sense of like the craziness that it could be. I mean, it's a comic book. It should be crazy. Anyway, if there's a great Supergirl story that I need to know about, let me know. Because I would love to just find one and, like, really, really enjoy it. I found some Superman stories that I really love. Supergirl, I'm still looking for the, like, comic clincher story that, like, really, really puts me into her character. So, anyway, that's my story. Thank you guys for watching. I will catch you later. And bye.